I heard you talking about uh, homosexuality and the fact that you don't believe that people are born gay. Now, like I, I've known people that would argue that there has been scientific evidence to support that there is a difference in the mentality and the mind state of someone gay, uh, physicality wise. I would agree that there's something different in the mindset and psychological environment of someone who is homosexual or lesbian. I think there's something about your mindset set about that outfit that you're wearing. Is it environmental as well? Uh, I treat homosexuality and lesbianism as... Ah, so the outfit that you're wearing is a mental disorder and not just a mental mindset. Ah, I understand now. It's a mental disorder, which is what it has been for all of African history. Not so. We actually have quite a few records showing that homosexuality was around in Africa as it has been in every other society that there ever was on this planet. And for all of American history up until 1973. And the reason for that, the reason why it was removed from that particular list that you're talking about is because the reasons why it was put on that list had no scientific backing to it. It, it was put on the list, list because of bigoted, right-wing, religious people. Homosexuality was listed in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders as a mental disease in this country up until 1973 after the Rockefeller World Population Council and Planned Parenthood International, the same Planned Parenthood that is giving black women abortions all across America, okay, is also the same Planned Parenthood that also contributed to the brainstorming and think tanking that went into using homosexuality as a population control strategy in the black community. I have heard some New World Order propagated propaganda before, but oh my goodness, I think you just went to a whole new level for me. I think the rest of this video is going to be a lot of fun. And in 1972, the Rockefeller World Population Council, with influence, with some coaching, by Planned Parenthood International decided that it would be best if homosexuality would no longer be treated as a abnormal condition and that it be propagated in the black community as a healthy lifestyle choice. That was in 72. All hail the new world order. Mm-hmm. Because you know what? Propagating the homosexual agenda to bring down the population of the black community is what the New World Order is all about. Y'all remember that now. Mm -hmm. In 1973, at the annual American Psychiatric Association Convention, homosexuality was voted out of the DSM as a mental disorder. So homosexuality has only been normal in America for about 37 years. Shh. It's all about the gay agenda. In 1974, Secretary of State Henry Kissinger penned a, a national security memorandum called NSSM 2000. It was a population control document that looked, at, that looked specifically at strategies to control the black population rate across the world. It specifically named a handful of African countries, including Nigeria, that would be specifically targeted for, with population reduction and it also discussed population reduction here in America. Well, how else do you think they're going to control the rest of the population if they don't promote the gay agenda to help bring down the populations of Africans? Because, you know, the population of Africans have been exploding recently for some odd reason. Probably another work of the New World Order. And although it did not specifically list homosexuality as a strategy, it talked about healthy sexual practices, it talked about birth control, 
and it talked about alternative lifestyle modifications that should be introduced into communities across America, specifically the black community, to reduce our population. But the reason there's so many gay people now is because it's a chemical warfare operation. I have the government documents where they said they're going to encourage homosexuality with chemicals so that people don't have children. White supremacy has three evil faces. The first face is light skin supremacy, where it teaches black people to worship color, where it teaches light skinned people that they're better than dark skinned people. I guess that would explain why I've always considered myself a house negro. Wow! You're opening up my eyes here. Please, tell me more. And where certain dark-skinned people who can also be light-skinned supremacists mistreat their light-skinned brothers and sisters because they assume that they have a superiority complex when the truth of the matter is they have an inferiority complex. I knew it. I knew that those cotton pickers were jealous because Master lets me suck his dick. Those damn cotton pickers. You have religious supremacy, where black people have been taught by white people and Arabs that you are supposed to force your religious beliefs on other people because that's the way they were forced on us in Africa. Um, I actually agree with you on this one. But I don't think for the root cause reasons that you're talking about, but I actually agree with you. And then you have homosexual supremacy, which is the coming age of social order in the black community, where any black person, particularly black men, in order for you to be successful as an entrepreneur, as an athlete, as an entertainer, as a clergyman, okay, you're going to have to bend over and have sexual relations with a homosexual male to prove that you are still the white man's bitch. There's quite a few white men that um, I would love to be a bitch to. Mm. Mm -mm. I love me some white meat. So, white supremacy and homosexuality. Is a, is a, is connected. Yes. Yes. Without a, without a doubt. White supremacy and homosexuality are connected. In fact, when you study slavery, you'll find that homos, homosexual acts by white slave masters with black slaves was rather frequent. But it wasn't talked about a lot, particularly when the slave narratives were written after slavery, when the interviews were done by the government and other entities, because as you would imagine, no man wants to admit that he was raped by another man. Um, I would love to be raped by a proportional response myself, you know, just, just saying I would not mind at all being a house negro to that fine ass white massa. So homosexuality has a long legacy in the black community. I don't mean to insist that most white people are gay. I don't believe that. Okay, but homosexuality is an outgrowth of Greco-Roman culture. Yeah, because there's no evidence of that before that time period. Except for all of the historical records that we have showing that homosexuality predated that time frame. Where most of the uh, philosophers, most of the religious leaders, most of the uh, political leaders were all gay. That's because sexuality was not a social problem like it is today. You see, today people make so, uh, homosexuality and, heter and bisexuality a problem when it has zero effect on their own personal lives. Oh, you'll find that if you actually look at some of the historical records, those societies that uh, do not have bigotry towards sexuality but actually promote sexuality um, across bi bisexual lines were some of the most peaceful societies that we've had. And it was religious, fundamentalist societies that destroyed those societies. That's why Roman Catholic priests aren't allowed to have sex with women. Because women were considered to be the symbolic representation of Satan. No, you dumbass. They passed that because they believed that the priest is supposed to give their lives completely, completely and utterly to the church. Even though that in the Bible, Paul does say that a priest can have only 
one wife, and that is in Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 5. That's why the woman made Adam eat from the tree in the garden. And so she became a handmaiden of the devil. The devil was not a construct until the New Testament. If you believe in those types of religious stories. I don't believe in religious fairy tales. Okay, but this is what we are taught. And as a result of that, in Roman Catholicism, because the woman is dirty, because she's evil, you don't have sex. Roman Catholicism promotes propagation they promote ha men to have one wife and to propagate to have children and in doing so they tell them to have sex to procreate yes they view sex as a nasty dirty act but they promote the sexual act to propagate this isn't hard. And so it is natural for humans to want to exercise that sexual impetus. And so since you can't have sex with a woman because she's the devil, then you have sex with men. Roman Catholicism considers homosexuality an abomination unto God and a sexual sin. Again, the shit is not hard learn what the fuck you're talking about and there's also a relationship between homosexuality and pedophilia really there is then I have a question for you why is it that statistics show that it is middle-aged white men that rape preteen girls more often than anyone else. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, white, middle-aged, heterosexual men rape preteen girls more than any other group. This is one of the ones that truly pisses me off. It really does, because I've been called a pedophile for my sexuality. Do you know what kind of stigma that puts on somebody when somebody says that aloud when they say oh you must like having sex with boys because you're gay and I'm not supposed to turn around and deck the person for calling me a pedophile no that's considered wrong if I do that but shitheads like you can spout out that homosexuals engage in pedophilia that there is this direct link between the two when there is absolutely fucking zero black homophobes piss me off the most especially in Greco-Roman cultures you will see that a lot of the gay white men in Greco-Roman culture not only had sex with other men, they had sex with little white boys. And that's why when you look at a lot of the paintings of white gods from Greece and Rome, you see a lot of little boy angels around those gods. That's because those gods were pedophiles. There's also depictions of men with men, um, teenagers with teenagers, kids with kids, women with women that was part of their culture do people condone it definitely not I don't but you also are forgetting that there was a lot more to it than what you're actually putting out there and they would have sex with the little boy angels when they wasn't ex ministering duty to the universe do you think that there is any difference between male uh, homosexuality and female lesbianism lesbianism and black women is intimately connected with a hatred for black men. Where the fuck are you getting this from? Where? It's also intimately connected in some sisters for a hatred for black womanhood. Black lesbianism is also attributed to a hatred of black womanhood 
What? We have to remember that the black woman was masculinized at the same time that the black man was emasculated. So a lot of black women feel that they can never embody what it truly means to be beautiful, what it truly means to be feminine. So many of them have decided to live their lives as men the same way many, many black men who feel that they can never embody what it truly means to be masculine, they have chosen to live their lives as women. I am truly at all with the bullshit that is spewing out of your mouth. I've run out of comebacks and wise ass remarks. Congratulations. You put me to a limit. Thank goodness this thing is almost over. But for most of our sisters I find, and the lesbian sisters who I know and have done work with, for most of them it's a rejection of black manhood for the hatred, the rape, the molestation, the domestic violence that they've seen their mothers and other adult women in their life undergo and certain experiences that they have had with the men themselves. A lot of lesbians who I know were sexually molested as little girls by men who they loved and trusted. I consider rape one of the foulest things you can do to another human being besides mutilating them. For this, I call bullshit on you. I really don't think that you know that many lesbian women. I, I really don't. So unlike many of my brothers and sisters, I don't believe they should be ostracized, mistreated, rounded up and killed. As I said, homosexuality and lesbianism is a mental disorder. And it can be cured and treated just like any other mental disorder. It is not a fucking disorder. Why don't people like you ever show studies and testing that's been done to show that it is a mental disorder? Want to know why? Because there is none. All studies that have been done on this have ruled it out being a mental disorder. People like you that propagate this misinformation make it hard for people like me to be accepted in general society. You can cure homosexuality, you can cure lesbianism. It's not a biological disease, it's psychological. And the reason why a lot of black people think they were born that way is the same reason why a lot of black people think they're inferior to white people. It is not a disease to be cut out. It is not a disorder to be cured. People are born this way. Show me a point in our history that it has not been around. Show us the fucking studies that show that it is a mental fucking disorder. People like you that push your pseudo-psychological bullshit onto other people make them feel lo feel like they have a disease like there's something wrong with them fuck you you've been going around thinking and believing something so long that it becomes your reality it's not true reality it's your reality they're not born that way there's there's very little proof to substantiate that most of the so-called evidence that is out there because there's no conclusive proof there's only evidence is being sponsored by homosexual groups you, sir, need to read a real fucking science journal. I swear, people like you keep pushing back scientific advancements and scientific understandings about our species decades. And I swear that I will continue to fight bigoted uneducated motherfuckers like you. So it's already biased because it's being put out by people who are trying to advance, you know, their own set of beliefs. The bottom line is this. Forget nature and nurture. The yeah, let's let's totally forget nature 
and nurture. Let's totally forget that we are part of nature. Let's totally forget that we are Homo sapiens sapiens, part of Kingdom Alamalia. Let's just totally forget that. And let's forget the nurture part about raising our children in a societal way to be ex to be accepted that of other people. You know, let's just forget all of that. You know, no, because all of the scientific advance advancements that we have gotten from studying nature have been of no benefit whatsoever. Well, to you, because you don't know jack shit about science, psychology, or fucking history. Fuck off. Bottom line is this. Is it advantageous for our black women for so many black men to be gay? Period! Only one out of every four black women gets married. So if you got one out of every four black men becoming homosexual, how does that help our system? How does that help the community? How does that help our children? How in the hell do you prepare for a war with white supremacy when most of your men want to have sex with the white man they're supposed to be fighting for? And how the fuck did you come up with that? That even if only one in four black women get married, how the fuck did you come up with one in four black men are gay? How? I'm glad that that this is over. I, I, I don't think I could take any more. You need to fucking educate yourself on science, history, philosophy, all of it. People like you spread the pseudo-bullshit that people like me have to go through and debunk on a daily fucking basis. You know what? I don't think that uh, you you yourself or your buddy that was sitting there or any of your little cliques are actually going to watch this. This is for other people. Just to see what kind of bullshit people like you put out. Darnuck done.